Hello, hello, YouTubers! How are you today? We listen to your advice, we got your messages, and now we're gonna do a tutorial how to set the colors of your TV. Uh, this is not only for Samsung, but we will do it on a Samsung just for you to see it. We have an old TV Samsung, no smart TV this time. Uh, it's from 2011, I think. Uh, and um, we want to set up the color so from standard it's not that good and uh, you ask us on uh, private messages on, on the forums or on some clips how to set it up well uh, first of all you got to thank yourself you want more vivid colors or you want uh, movie colors movie colors uh, are some kind of colors are not that saturated uh, the colors are some kind soft uh, to a yellowish. Okay, I just like a standard in the standard because I will. Uh, it's, it's a TV. You you watch movies, but I will do the settings as uh, I recommend you. So you can modify the settings. You don't have to agree 100% like me. So for example. I will put the contrast somewhere in uh, 90%. I will put the brightness in uh, at the half. The contrast is good because you see a lot of contrast on this new TV. So you can uh, you can achieve some uh, colors, some contrast. Uh, I think you will see pretty enough. Sorry, let's dim the light. Sorry, guys. Let's dim the light a little bit. Uh, the sharpness. Let's continue the sharpness. You can do, do not put more, uh, that much sharpness, more than 20%. If you see some kind of uh, flickering or uh, if you see a noise, noise with uh, tiny dots, you know, uh, don't uh, push that uh, much the sharpness. Put it to 60% for example if you see the noise. If you don't like it because the sharpness will give you some clarity. But if you don't like it go at 50%. Uh, this is the best for uh, 102 centimeters, I think, uh, or or uh, 30 inch TVs, because you will not see that uh, that much. Okay. Um, next, the tent. The tent, for example, if you see here, we are calibrated in studio the white balance, so it's pretty good calibrated. But if you see, it's kind of reddish. Uh, in uh, the left side you can put it more to green in the right side you can put it more to red if you see we have some already some red faces so i don't like this i will put it i will uh, put it 10 percent into the green and uh, now the white balance is good you don't have to bring a colorometer or a spider professional to calibrate your tv come on it's a tv okay now a screen adjustment uh, auto because it will take uh, but it's 60 by 9 all the channels are 60 by 9 let's continue the advanced settings set it to uh, if you see in off it's uh, some kind of small small fog set it to high set the dynamic contrast set it to high and the black level to darkest because you know you can uh, even the tv is there is not super amoled uh, it's led but uh, you can achieve like the new tvs uh, the darkest tone okay color space leave it to native and uh, add the white balance for example you could have more green the faces or more blue if you see more blue in your picture not this blue menu or they have in studio blue walls or uh, some kind of design there the blue of in the faces of the people uh, you got to report yourself like in the professional photography for example on the faces of the people that is the most important thing then it's important what's in the background or what's near the people let's go in the picture options and you can see the standard uh, here you can also choose how to view the colors more cooler it's more blue in your picture and more warmer it's more yellow more warmer is like in the movies i'm not saying it's exactly like in movies but 
it's uh, if you like more warmer colors for example for example canon has uh, built-in already warmer colors than nikon okay so it's matter of taste the digital noise filter and impact noise filter uh, i leave it to auto because it does the job pretty well if you activate the led motion plus you could sense some differences it uh, it's more uh, as uh, the real life, but it dims the light a little bit. But you can uh, make this option uh, to see like in real life with the smooth options. Okay, at the gamma, uh, I leave it to zero, but you can uh, play with it. Uh, this is the color I was looking for. So I will reset it again uh, just for you to see what's the difference. But before I reset it, I switch to a HD channel. Let's see the quality of the picture. Yes, it's... I don't like this Discovery Showcase HD because it doesn't have that much quality of the HD. Okay, this will do in the National Geographic. Uh, yes, it's a good quality. If you approach to the TV, it's a small, small, very small noise, but it's not noticeable. You look at your TV in minimum two meters. This is normal. Look how, uh, how, how is the quality of the image in the standard now uh, compared to the natural or, or the movie. It's great. Look at the motion of the picture. It's awesome, but uh, yes, I have 200 uh, frames uh, uh, here at uh, smooth. Uh, well, uh, if you want to make smooth before I reset, I didn't show you this. Uh, I like it to standard the smooth, but if you want to see like in real life at the motion plus, you can put it to smooth. So this is the maximum a TV can give you. So now look how clear the image is, how smooth it rounds and all the colors are great calibrated. Uh, you, you can make, if you want, you can make small adjustments uh, to your needs. And now I want to see, for example, to reset the picture, to see before and uh, after and before. Yes. And see now, look how big difference it is in the, in the quality of the image. So guys, this is how you can uh, adjust your uh, picture mode. And uh, don't forget, uh, I got to tell you one more thing about the Echo Solution. Because the Echo Solution Echo Sensor will help you, the Echo Sensor. Uh, turn it on and put it to minimum backlight because it will help you in the night. You have some kind of sensor in the front of the TV that senses the light It's uh, in the night. And it will dim, dim the backlight of the TV automatically. And uh, yes, you have some settings here for the minimum backlight. Okay guys, support us on our channel, thank you for watching, hope this uh, tutorial will help you for the best colors of your uh, TV. Uh, for the non-smart TVs or the older TVs, you can uh, bring uh, them uh, to our days, to the, the TV, to the newer TVs from our days. So, uh, thumbs up and subscribe for our channel for more tutorials and reviews. Thank you for watching guys, see you, bye!